Hello from Edinburgh, language learners. It's Quick Tip Tuesday. In the last Quick Tip, I talked about the advantages of having a regular study slot for your language learning. Today, I want to expand that and explain the idea of a satellite slot. First of all, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Dr. Gareth Popkins. This channel is all about all things language learning, blogging and vlogging, exploring in-depth materials, interviews and my own language learning projects. If you'd like to get my free webinar training on how to get your language learning off to a flying start, or if you're already an experienced language learner and want to take it to the next level, then there's a link for that underneath this video. Now, last time then I talked about the idea of having a regular study slot, perhaps 30, 45 minutes in the morning when it's quiet. Consistency is really important in language learning and a habit is part of that. And a regular time in your day when you're studying, I was saying, can really help you for your own motivation and organisation. But it can also help other people in your life because, you know, if you're juggling family or relationship commitments, if people know that um, during a certain time of the day, you are busy doing your languages and then you'll be free to give them your full attention, it may help you just to get some focused, uninterrupted study time. So that was having the regular study slot. But say you've got 40 minutes a day or an hour a day that you can give over to language learning or 30 minutes. What about splitting that up into two chunks? I suggest maybe not just splitting it half and half, but having a main regular study slot, like I was saying, and then what I'd call a satellite slot. So for example, if I'm able to spend 40 minutes a day working on my Japanese, for example, which is my current new language, I might do 30 minutes in the morning and then in the evening when I'm back from the office, just set aside 10 minutes, perhaps shortly before I go to bed, as a satellite slot. This could also become, so far as possible, a regular habit. And I could return to the work I'd be doing, the focus work that I'd been doing that morning, or the morning before for that matter. Why does this make sense? Well, first of all, I think it helps reinforce what I've been doing. So I could simply listen to some audio again I've been working with, reread a text. Repetition helps. It's all the more effective though, of course, if you um, have some sort of active recall, you try and put yourself to the test. So what I could do before I started re-listening to the audio clip would be to write down three key ideas that I remember from it, in the language, of course or write down five words uh, which were used in the material I was looking at. Or to try and repeat uh, some examples of key patterns I've been looking at. And that then would make the interaction more active and would aid memory and retention. Now, it may be that I can't remember some of the things I was trying to recall, or when I go back cold, uh, if I'm just going to go for a pure repetition and reread the material, uh, or listen again, I find that there are some things I still don't quite understand. But that at least does throw up the problem and make me aware of them, and it helps avoid the illusion of learning and the thought that I had got something off uh, pat, as it were, in the morning. I don't have to solve the problem then, I'm just aware of it, and it, you know, in my subconscious I'm going to be primed to perhaps notice better next time and maybe solve the issue. In the same way, you know, there may have been things that you didn't get in the morning, which suddenly fall into place in the evening because you see a connection, you see a word is, maybe has a root in another word that you already know or something like that. So this isn't quite spaced repetition over time, which is really important too, uh, but it's on the same day, just going back for a short period to the material you've been using and looking at in your regular slot. Finally, maybe if you do it last thing at night, then, uh, you know, the f we're told that information is processed as we sleep and how important that is for the forming of memories. And perhaps if you've just been looking at something shortly before you uh, go to sleep for the night, it might be slightly fresher in your mind and perhaps that might aid um, the processing of it as you sleep. I haven't looked into that in detail, but it's, it's just a sort of hunch I have. So that's it. Now, my question to you would be, have you actually tried having a satellite slot splitting up the time you've got each day for your language learning? If you have, or if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments below. You may wonder what I'm doing in Edinburgh. Well, I came up for a language lovers event. It was held yesterday in a room at the back of a pub. 
uh, in place of a larger event which was cancelled at the last minute. A group of us who'd already bought tickets decided that we'd come up and make a long weekend of it anyway. I was one of the speakers. I had a great time also listening to talks by other uh, inspiring language speakers and enthusiasts and meeting some new people too. Uh, for me, these sorts of events are great for the wider motivation. Uh, and, you know, it's all about contacts, isn't it, in, when we're pursuing our, our passions as well. Uh, I did some vlogging, so I'm hoping to uh, get a vlog of the trip to Edinburgh and the language learning event edited and out on the channel soon. I'm not sure whether it will be in the Thursday slot this week, uh, but look out for it pretty soon. So thanks a lot for watching. Remember, have a regular slot. Think too about having a satellite slot. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe for the vibe, throw me a thumbs up, tickle that bell and share the affair. Bye.